Hello Zanzi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So you guys, I know I have been quiet for a while in terms of like posting videos, but I'm back. Okay, well, I'm back. So you guys, about um two days ago, uh, on Monday actually, there was a fire that broke out at the Cape Town um Parliament, um, and a lot of, there was like a lot of confusion in terms of like why is the parliament burning who caused the fire what is going on like there was a lot of commotion in um the internet in terms of what is going on and what is our government doing with you know with the fire who actually broke the fire and there was a lot of questions that were circulating in terms of what is actually going on now however it seems like the south african police service have arrested this man by the name of zandile christmas mafia from kailisha so the man is uh is being uh, charged with housebreaking theft arson and further charges as well so the national prosecuting authorities are accusing this man right here his name is zandile mafia for being responsible for the fire so apparently allegedly he was found with an explosive device which then led to the authorities apprehending him and arresting him and further on charging him now there was a lot of commotion on twitter actually today because people were actually calling um, him as an scapegoat people are actually uh, insinuating that he is not the man responsible for the fire that broke out in parliament and uh, instead he is maybe being used as an scapegoat for and is like an scapegoat for um from the real perpetrators the real people who actually burnt down parliament because literally this man is homeless you guys like why would he burn down an entire parliament um a lot of people are saying that you know there is a third hand in this like there are people who are hiding behind this man and you know some even said that the south african police service might have been feeling pressure from the from like the community and the people of south africa to catch the people who actually did this so they just ended up arresting like anyone they could find which happened to be this man like um my thing you guys like, i do not really know how to take off this because this man is basically homeless like he is probably worried about his next where is he gonna get his next meal like why would he burn down an entire like a, a like not entire but like a parliament for no reason like it does not make sense and also another thing which is important to note is that with a spokesperson from the parliament um, i think the representative who some who was supposed to speak to the media said that you know there was no security like there was no securities who were guarding the parliament like the security company who was responsible for guarding the parliament was actually let go last year due to like financial budget cuts so there was basically nobody who was guarding the parliament and also it was said that there is actually cctv footage in um the parliament so i'm like where is that footage where we can get to see this man um burning down this building because basically there is nothing other than the alleged explosive device that they found in him that ties zandile christmas mafia into this um arson charge but anyways guys comment down below what you guys think of this and i'll see you guys on my next video bye